Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is George and you're watching Just Shake or Steer. Thank you for sticking around, thank you for everybody who's supporting the channel so far and if you're one of the new subscribers, I much appreciate and thank you for joining the Just Shake or Steer family. Now the summer it's nearly over, it is over, but I don't know, it's still 20 degree outside in the UK which is quite surprisingly but pleasant, I can't complain, the weather is fantastic, so I decide to say a farewell, farewell, say the proper way goodbye to the summer with a four lovely spritzes, okay, easy to make, no shaking, no steering, just straight away building the glass, and just to kind of a close my first part from the last year with the spritz uh, video, so I will leave link in the description. In this case, you can have eight different spritz recipes you can try if you never watched the first video. But for now, I'm gonna stop chatting and I'm just gonna say, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, stick around, and let's make one, two, three, four spritzes to say goodbye to the summer. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna make all four spritz together. So the recipe is gonna be down in the description. As always, uh, we will not put anything on the screen because we're building it together. You don't need shaker, you don't need mixing glass, you don't need anything like this. All you need is your glasses of choice. Usually spritz is served in a wine glass, but I prefer in this kind of a type of old fashioned bowl something like a hybrid between them. It's really nice, it's very thin glass, it's a lovely way of serving a spritz. Also, don't forget, you can serve spritz in a tall high bowl or a Collins glass. It's your personal preference, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. So, all of the spritzes will be using uh, Mionetto Prosecco. I'm gonna use, now this Prosecco, it's uh, extra dry, uh, as you know, most of the time Prosecco is associated to be a kind of a sweeter, more than a, you know, on the sweet side. But I do prefer to have kind of a, this dryness in the wine and it's, in my personal opinion, it works better with spritz. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm using a dry is because in this spritz we're gonna have a little bit of the sugar syrup. Now, if you think about it, uh, most of the time you may get Aperol Spritz, which will be the Aperol, the Prosecco, and the soda water, and that's the end of the story. In these versions here, I'm gonna use a little touch of a sugar syrup, and only in one of them, I'm gonna drop a little bit of vanilla syrup. So let's first open my Prosecco. When you're opening Prosecco or Champagne, 45 degree, hold on the top, spin, <laughs> And that's it. Nice and easy. Nothing flying away. Nothing going out of the bottle. So you're ready. Right, extra dry. Now, first of all, we need to fill up our glass with ice. When you do spritz, don't be short on the ice, okay? You need lots of ice. I've seen people serving spritz with kind of a few cubes of ice and you don't want that because the ice is gonna dilute very quick. It's gonna introduce too much water in the spritz it's gonna dilute it and it won't taste any more amazingly refreshing like supposed to be and bubbly, okay? So fill it up. Halfway through, put your garnish. Now, I have prepared my garnishes for all four of them. As you can see, they go in order. I have pink or white grapefruit for my Luxardo, Bitter Bianco. Then I have orange for my Sterlino Amaro Cherry. Then I have lime for the P31, green aperitivo, and I have lemon for the Sterlino elderflower aperitivo. So, simple as that. Again, don't be short on a garnish, okay? Put enough, have a good flavor inside. Don't worry, at least one or two pieces. So just drop it inside and you'll be fine. There you go. I'll put this on the side. Now, with the last one, with the Sterlino Spritz, uh, I have a little bit of mint leaves because it's a basically as a Hugo Spritz. If you 
Never had a Hugo Spritz. Uh, it's basically elderflower liqueur with a Prosecco and a soda. Or you can check my uh, Spritz video from last year when I have another four recipes. I think it's four or five, somewhere there. But you can check it, Car's gonna pop in here or I'll leave link in the description as well. The difference between Sterlino and the elderflower it's we have here liqueur. With the Sterlino, we have elderflower aperitivo. So we have the bitterness with the aperitivo which we expect from any aperitivo. So simple as that. Now, I've put my garnish and I'm gonna top up with ice. Don't worry about it because when you put the Prosecco and the rest of the ingredients, the ice, it will drop down and if you hear some small steps that's my dog because he really likes ice mercury come here yeah come on come here up there you go go boy that's it gone for some reason my dog it's absolutely obsessed with ice and anytime when i do cocktails or i film it's just staying on the door but because today is during the day it's a lovely weather sun is shining doors it's open it just decide to come anyway Let's pour, so two ounces or uh, now that's very kind of a controversial, let's put it this way. Uh, depends of the bar you go, depends of the place. It could be a different recipe, but usually it's a two part of Prosecco to one and a one third or one and a half part of the aperitivo and just a half part of the soda and half part of the sugar syrup. I will leave the, res the recipes down in the description. So. <clears throat> make them to your liking, okay? If you like to have a little bit more bubbly, put more Prosecco. If you want to go less on the Prosecco, more on the soda because you want it to be weak, change the ratio, okay? But basically it's always going like that, around two parts of Prosecco, one and a half of the liqueur, one and a half of the soda. Sorry boy, no more ice. Right, let's go. I'm just gonna go usually like I do on uh, just Randomly, I'm not gonna measure. I don't like measuring the Prosecco and in the, I've seen in some bars people doing it and it's in my opinion it's a, it's a little bit harsh on the Prosecco because once you put it in the measure you kind of start losing this carbonation then you put it in the glass lose more and we don't want that. So basically as you can see here uh, I'm kind of going halfway on these glasses. Again depends of your glass if your glass it's like a wine glass for example and it's not that big let's put it this way for example if you surf in something like that and it's not that big maybe you go a little down on the prosecco in these glasses i'm halfway fine with them so first of all we're gonna start with the bianco bitter liqueur and it will be 22 and a half of the bianco bitter now the bianco bitter liqueur it's a uh, 30 ABV so it's kind of all right not a problem at all but then uh, I'm gonna drop around 5 ml of vanilla syrup so that's the only one which I'm putting a different syrup there you go uh, the rest of it is gonna be just a simple syrup okay so this is it, he's still walking, he's still, okay, one more ice, there you go, bye, see you later. What can you do? Then we're going with the Italian Alps, we're going with the Stambeco Amaro, which it's made with maraschino cherries and also a lovely selection of botanicals. It's a wonderful, refreshing Camaro, obviously slightly bitter, but not that much bitter, perfect for spritz, okay? So we're going 22 and a half mil here, which is what? I think three quarter of the ounce, if I'm not mistaken. The Stambeco is 35 ABV, so it's absolutely fine. It's a lovely, just to sip chilled, or you can use it even in Manhattan. Fantastic Manhattan you can do with it. Now the next one, we're gonna go with the P31, which is the green operativo, which I used to make the green Negroni. Again, you can check this video, it's fantastic. If you never had P31, I hope you can find it. It's a wonderful green aperitivo. Now, I know some of you may say, uh, why you don't put double measure of the liqueurs? And uh, yeah, 
maybe you know I me mean, if you're using upper all spritz or p31 you can go with double measure because it's only 11 abv okay do not forget check your aperitivos or your liqueurs bitter liqueurs whatever you're using because most of them could be between 30 or 35 abv so you're putting introducing a double measure it could be a little bit strong on the palate okay but if you go with the aperitivo like the p31 or upper all spritz which it's low abv feel free to put double measure okay just to clarify because i'm pretty sure somebody maybe gonna go and uh, mention this to me and finally the new bottle which i have uh see this is 17 abv here again you can go with a lovely kind of a double measure but i will stick to the plan and go with a three quarter of ounce uh now the thing with this one it's as i mentioned it's still the elderflower presence but it's not like the saint germain you have the slight bitterness and i do apologize about this walking of the dog but i've already opened the door so you're gonna start crying if i close anyway there you go and finally we're gonna have to top up with the soda but as you can see the ice is drop a little bit so what i'm gonna do I give it a little steer for the first one and before i keep going i nearly forgot i'm gonna put my sugar syrup so I'm just gonna drop around kind of like a five mil just to give a little sweetness because as i mentioned this prosecco which i'm using it's extra dry if your prosecco it's uh, on the sweet side don't worry about it you don't need to uh, put any sugar syrup or any sweetness i'm gonna change my bar spoon now just give it a little kind of a mix you don't need to steer you don't need to do much uh, just give it a little mix okay so you mix your sugar syrup your prosecco and your aperitivo before you top up with the soda and there you go our final one wonderful as you can see the ice dropped so i'm gonna top up with ice i want to be full with ice because all we're gonna do is just top up with a little bit of soda water and we are done there you go fantastic now let me just release some of the gas here wonderful give it a little shake and top it up you don't need to top up much you don't want to dilute too much you just want to kind of a lower and give a little bit freshness or more bubbly with the soda and this is it pretty much that's where you stop of course you don't need to have a siphon or whatever it's called you can just basically get a soda water bottles and use them like small sodas it'll be absolutely fine right and final touch a garnish so we have a grapefruit here let me split them a little bit because uh, no that's not the one we got orange well, i'm picking up the wrong one always we got a lime and we got a lemon and because we have mint here you can just pop up uh, like a small mint sprig on the top it doesn't need to be huge or anything big and there you go my friends we have our spritz ready so we have first of all the bitter bianco which it's uh by luxardo bitter bianco then we have next one it's our wonderful stambeco amaro which is made with uh, maraschino cherries then we have the p31 green aperitivo and then we have finally the sterlino elderflower aperitivo so all from italy a perfect aperitivos a wonderful way to finish the summer so let's test them first oh yes unmistakable bitter bianco test it's fantastic it's so refreshing it's very slight on the bitter side it's very mild just a wonderful thing and this pink grapefruit is bringing freshness Ooh, unbelievable it's tobacco you can't go wrong you know very well 
from my channel I love Amarus and this one it's a wonderful mild Amaru made in the Italian Alps with the Maraschino cherries it's, it's all beauty things you know I mean all the beautiful stuff from a Maraschino cherry and Amaru bitterness and the her oh just just wonderful guys seriously cheers yeah the p31 I don't know how to explain it to you guys it's a it's a wonderful bitter aperitivo with this distinctive green color it's a beautiful aperitivo beautiful if, if you if you never watch my video on Negronis please make sure you watch it to see the white the green and the classic Negroni I made them and with p30 it's just try to find it I hope you can find it and finally Starlino Which is yeah, it is basically the, the Hugo Spritz, which is with all the flower liqueur, but you have these bitter notes because it's aperitif, it's not a liqueur. And this is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are ready for autumn, it's coming. Make the most of it, the last day of the summer. I'm so happy with UK, we have still this wonderful weather. So enjoy yourself. I'll see you soon with another video, and uh, yeah some news I have for you but I'll let you know in the next video until then as always I love you and I leave you bye bye